when, when, when Suna East was carved out of the, the Greater Migori constituency, uh, the member of parliament that has been there is the same person. In fact, this is if if he finishes his term, which of course is going to finish in, in another, it will be ten years. I've, I've I've not seen anything substantial. You know why? You know, I want to tell you this: leadership is about connecting with the people. When you are a leader, what is leading? To lead is means to be in front. So when you are in front, it means you are giving people direction. When you are a leader, leadership starts in the house, where you and your family, as a father, I'm a leader of my house. Out of the family, out of that family at night, then we have a community where maybe we have another leader who is in charge of, of, of the community. Then at, after that, you go big until now you reach the constituency, for example, up to the national level. So what I'm saying, at every level there are leadership. We have church leaders, we have youth leaders, we have women leaders. Hmm? When you are a leader of all these leaders, you must create networks. You must work in sync with these people. That is what I'm telling you that I've not seen that. Because somebody said, show me your friends and I'll tell you who we are. If you are somebody who associates with criminals, then you'll be called a criminal. I want to challenge you because I know you are a journalist. And tell me any progressive person in Suna East, any professional, be him an engineer, a teacher, a doctor, a professor, whoever he is, or even those champion farmers who are his associates. I do not know. I'm not saying that he does not have, but I've not seen that. Hmm? And you see, when that link is not there, when you cannot work with other leaders, because you see, for example, today, I want to be the member of parliament for Suna East. If they give me that opportunity, I will still come back and work with them. I will not come and start working. And that is what I've started today, that in each and every area, I want to identify people. I've told them, have groups. The mobile network works like that. Each and every cell in a mobile network is supported by a base transceiver station. So when we are here, we are communicating with one base transceiver station. This is a cell. If we go outside that cell, then it takes us to the next. So you continue like, and that's why you will talk without your calls dropping because there's that continuity. And that is what we find one in this political field. I have not seen him because I'm also a leader in my own right. I've not seen him who come to my village. I've not seen him go to the neighboring villages. A member of parliament in this great republic of Kenya has three functions. One is legislation, another one is oversight, another one is representation. These are constitutional mandates. If you are a people's representative, you are given infrastructure, you are given resources to represent the people. Because you should know which road is impassable today? Which bridge was washed away because it rained heavily last night? Which village was attacked by cattle rustlers last night? Because you are representing them in parliament. It is through those. Which areas are still depending on water that is not treated? You know, no? River water to drink. And, uh, you know, so once you collect this kind of information, it is the basis of your representation in parliament so that you talk about the issues that are affecting your people then these issues can be discussed and become bills and even become acts of parliament and become law that is the basis of representation and that is why a member of parliament is given mileage allowance to go back to the constituency so that he can interact with the people so that he can find out the problems that they are facing is that happening it is not happening. I, I want you, I want to challenge you to go do your own research. How many times the member of parliament for Suna East has been in this constituency since the beginning of this year? How many times? And I also want to challenge you, I don't know whether that is something that you can do, to find out how many times he has been paid mileage allowance that is coming to Suna East. It should be a constitutional matter if you ask. Because if if you are supposed to represent people and you take money that you are going to see them and you don't see them, then that is fraud. That is fraud. And that is what is happening. Because 
Ask anybody. I come from this constituency. We don't see him. We don't see him. And, and are we going to stay like that? We cannot stay like that. Why? Because each and every member of this constituency is a taxpayer in this Republic of Kenya. Their taxes are supposed to bring services. And the government is giving that money. Through disbursement to the national government, sorry, to the county government, and through disbursement to other funds that have been created, including the affirmative action fund by the, by the women reps, the, the CDA fund by, by members of and so many other funds that you people know about. I, I don't want to grade him. You know why? You may not know, but it is only in this constituency where we have a member of parliament who was not elected by the people and doing functions of a member of parliament. A provision of member of parliament because every everything and and this has brought a lot of suffering to the people of this constituency why because this guy was not given bandit by anybody but he's the one running around doing cdf project and the, you know if they allocate two million they they, they, they only use five hundred thousand they take 1.5 i am a chairman of a board of governor of a, of, of, of a high school, a secondary school in this constituency. And I know the way they, they, they treat these people, they treat the, 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 the board, the way they treat the, the, the schools. And, and, and people fear because when you speak out, then they mark you and say, you will never get CDF again. We'll never support the school. We'll never build infrastructure in this school. But that is not what should happen because every time a member of parliament, even me, when I'm elected, I'll, the moment I take that oath of office, I'll be a member of parliament for everybody, including those who did not elect me. Because, because where do I want them to go? And they're also residents of this constituency. So I cannot grade this person. Why? Because he's not working. How do you, how do you grade somebody who has not done exams? My friend. Eh? I, 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 thought, <laughs> I, I thought only those who sit <laughs> for various tests are the ones who are graded. This, this guy flies in a helicopter runs around, tells people how oh, there's no any other person in Sunaiz who can speak fluent English. That is the only person he look for somebody from Nairobi to come and run with him. That kind of that kind of arrogance. Huh? And he tells us that, you know, up in the bedroom yeah? and, and, and and he does nothing. How many students? For example, from 2013 to 2022 will be 10 years. 10 years is a period that is enough for somebody who was in class 8 when this member of parliament got into parliament has gone to form 4. Somebody who was in class 8 has finished form 4, has gone to the university. Hmm? 4 years high school, 4 years university. Huh? This person should be in the market, two years in the market. How many people in Suna East, and I'm challenging him, hmm? has he taken through education? Forget about the bursary, because bursary is not even working. It is not working. It is, it is a fraud. But how many people, students, who are in class 8 when he got into parliament, have gone through Form 4, up to Form 4, through him, and gone to the university through him. And how many of those who have graduated out of the university have been assisted by him to secure jobs? Because we know in this country you have to be assisted, for example. I'm asking you, zero. Why? Because he does not believe in empowering these people. That was the fraud in 2013. When he came, he said that he was going to help Raila. And all of us in Suna East, or in Nyanza, or even in Kenya, at that time, believed, even today, believe in the credentials of Raila Odinga to spur meaningful changes in this country. And, and when he came, he said that, and you know, and it is on record, how the nominations were done in 2013. It is on record. 
how nominations were done and who won. Then, I'm going to help Raila at the top. We believed him because in the run up to 2007 elections, if I may just digress a bit, there were a lot of issues about representation. People did a lot of MOUs. Raila did MOUs with even the Muslim community and he promised them certain things. It did not work after what happened in 2007 and everybody knows what happened. And therefore there was a lot of animosity between uh, Audrey Raila and, uh, and even the Muslim community. People started um, twisting him, saying, you promised us this, you have not given us this, and yet he tried his best, based on the circumstances of the moment. Then, then it looked like the Muslims were sliding out of Raila's hands. And of course, we needed somebody who could fill that void. You remember people like Adandwale had already started, uh, you know, the, the URPs, and you know, then which later formed the government together with TNA. So, so when this guy came and said that uh, he wanted to help Raila, we believed him. But the question is, in 2013, when he got into parliament, through that deceit of her going to help Raila, how many seats did Raila win in Muslim world, not this time, the, 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 the Muslim community? How many? In 2017, how many seats did ODM win? in Northeastern, or in the Muslim one. You will be shocked that if they are there, they are too. And it was not because of his effort. So it is, it is, a, it is a lie, and, and we cannot let this lie continue. Because really, Raila, nobody, even me, me Modong, cannot sit here and start telling that I'll, 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 I'll not support Raila if he's running for president in this part of the world. And even if I'm not his supporter. Nobody will believe me. If I say that I don't support it, people will think that I'm, I'm just being clever by half. Huh? And so so th this idea of him helping Raila does not wash. But even if it did, hmm, was that the mandate for which people of Sunai selected him? Because if, if we elected him to go and represent us, and now he's, he's helping Raila, then really, why don't we let him help him at that level and we get somebody to represent us because our problems are unique each and every constituency and that is where we have constituents otherwise we'd just have had one big edifice so that you know we are just like Kenya we don't need constituents but it is because of the uniqueness of the problems with these constituencies that is why we so, so th there's no way you can say that is helping Raila when there are very few members of the Muslim community, you know, DM, the party where is the director of election. There are very limited votes that Raila got in, in, in that part of the of the country. And therefore it it is fraud. It it is it is it is just trying to get things that are not meant for him.